Uh, I'm gonna check my CVIP sticker. So it's up to date. I'm gonna check my last number. You wanna check this first because if it's out of date, there's no reason to carry on with your pre-trip. You cannot take the bus. I'm gonna check the seal on the door. The windows are not cracked or broken. As I'm entering my bus, I'm checking the driver's area for cleansiness and the steps. I'm checking my handrail, make sure they're secured. I'm gonna check and make sure that my fire extinguisher is in the green and it's secured. And the pin is intact and together. Make a nice video though. This will be sent to the office. I'm going to check all my paperwork. So I've got my collision report. If I need it, I need to fill it out if I have an accident. I've got my insurance slip. It's up to date, it's good till November 1st. I've got my schedule two, which if there's a defect, I can turn to to find out if it's a major or a minor. If it's a major, I cannot move the bus. You got your safety fitness certificate. It expires October 31st, and this gives me um, the allowance to operate the school bus anywhere in Alberta. I'm gonna check the commercial vehicle inspection. I'm checking the unit number because the unit number is not the same I'm gonna check the VIN number so 6613 you can look up here 6613 and that's correct lots of times they have a plate number obviously when they inspected it they did not have a plate yet signed by the mechanic and my CVIP number matches my sticker outside I have my registration. One is for school bus, one is for charters, which says public bus. It's continuous. And again, I would check and make sure it matches the bin. making sure I got all three of my triangles they're in place and it's secure I've got my first aid kit it's sealed and tagged this one is not it's brand new but it will be sealed and tagged and I'm gonna make sure I have my seatbelt cutter I'm gonna make sure that my seatbelt is intact no freeze no broken parts it attaches properly okay then I'm gonna go back outside I'm gonna Tracy, grab you forgot your body bag my what? Your fluid bag it's optional uh oh, oh yeah, there you go oh, is it? oh. Yes, they didn't tell us <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea to have the body fluid bag or kit it's helpful if somebody gets sick on the bus make sure the rubber is good my windshield is good and no broken or chips cracks checking my brake fluid caps making sure it's secure checking my level in the winter you can actually shine your flashlight in there because it's dark and you'll be able to see the level coming down I'm checking all my wires and hoses Making sure there's no freeze in the hoses, no leak or wires. Making sure that all the hoses are intact and not leaking. I'm going to check my steering column. You don't want a lot of play. My belt, it's 
not loose, there's no missing rivets. I'm checking my fan blades. Moves freely, there's no missing parts. Coming down, I'm checking my power steering fluid. Making sure it's at adequate level and the cap is secure. Checking my headlight wires. It's attached, no freeze. Checking my pitman arm. My cotter pin, I should have three. One, two, and three. My drag link. I'm gonna move up here. My frame, my springs, my U-bolts, my axle, and my tie rod. Then I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna check the inside condition of my rim. There's no cracks, no damage. My caliper, my brake line, is attached and not leaking. And the outside condition of my tire. Because, is the wheel on that side? Yep. I have my tissue with me to check my oil, so I'm gonna wipe my sight glass clean, and I'm gonna make sure that my hub oil is at an adequate level, and no leaks, okay? I'm also looking at the overall condition of this side of the engine compartment and I don't see any leaks on the ground again. Okay. The oil cap is really... Oh yeah, thank you. The oil cap, the the oil cap is back here. here with yeah. these bluebirds. We would have the mechanics fill it. I would make sure the cap is secure. You could get your shock to this. Oh, yeah, yeah, testing today. <laughs> Then you got your shocks, you're making sure there's no leaks in the shocks and there's no visible damage. Your leaves? Yeah, I got that. I sometimes actually miss things to see what you guys catch. That's good, man. That's good. Keep us on our toes. Yep. So I come to this side, I'm going to look at my wiper blade. It's attached. I'm looking at my windshield, making sure there's no cracks. My coolant level is adequate, we have not started the bus. Wires, hoses, and their connections, all intact. No freeze, no leaks. I can check this side of my fan belt. That's, you don't want it loose. I can't check that. My air filter is secure. My washer fluid, that's a weird color. My washer fluid is an adequate level. What's the level it should be at? Three quarters, very good. So this is my transmission fluid. When would you check flat transmission fluid? You told us not yeah, to so tight. No, just make sure the cap If you tight. had to, when 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 would you check it? You need to know this. I guess you gotta check it any time in the bus is right. If it's running or no leaks, no. Bingo. So you check it in low gear, low gear. in an idle. And it's no different than your dipstick, oil dipstick. If it's below the ad, that's when you need transmission fluid. Okay? So then I'm gonna pull my oil dipstick, maybe. Now because it hasn't been running, it's been sitting, I can look. If it's been running and you need to check it, you're gonna wipe it clean, put it back put it in. Back. And we're above the ad line, so we're good. I'm gonna check my frame, my shocks. I'm looking for any dam visible damage on the frame. I'm looking for leaks on the shock. My leaf spring, there's no cracks, no visible damage. My U-bolts are attached. My tie rod, I've got one cotter pin here. I'm looking at my brake line. It's attached to my brake caliper. There's no leaks. I'm looking at the inside condition of my tire. There's no bulges, no cracks. And my rim has no visible damage. I'm gonna move over here. I can actually see my power steering fluid better. So I'm gonna take a look from this side as well. I'm looking at my wires for my lights and it's all connected, no frays. Again, overall condition of this side of the engine compartment. Did I miss?
miss anything, guys? Yeah, when I did my leaf springs. I don't know how to do the recording. Come on. Everybody. Then why don't you hold the camera? Go, go, go. Okay. I'm going to adjust my mirrors, my seat. Everything set for me. As I turn my key over, I'm checking all my morning lights. So I'm going to make sure that they all go out. I'm going to wait until I can start because if you're in an engine, you have to cycle your glow plugs. As I start the engine, I'm checking all my gauges. I'm checking my temperature, water temperature. Well, first thing you want to check is your oil pressure. If it doesn't build pressure within three to five seconds, you shut the engine off. There could be a problem with the engine. And my transmission temperature, my suspension, and my battery level. I'm looking at my speedometer, which should be at zero. My temperature is at cold, and my RPM should be running about seven to a thousand RPM. It will drop to seven once it's warmed up a bit. I want to make sure I have enough fuel for my trip. What's classified as empty? Half a tank. Half a tank is classified as empty. So we're empty. Okay. Then I'm going to move on. I always start left to right or right to left. I'm going to make sure my door opens properly and closes properly. My hands on the steering wheel. I'm going to check my steering, making sure there's not a lot of play. Horn. I'm going to activate my headlights. I'm going to check my high beams. My indicator light is working and I can check in my crossover mirrors to make sure that they work. I'm going to activate my left signal. And then I'm going to move up. I'm going to check the, make sure my driver's window opens freely. <laughs> then I'm going to come down. I'm going to turn on my strobe light. I'm going to check that when I do my walkthrough. I'm checking all my heaters. High, low, off. High, low, off. The reason why I check high first is sometimes you can't hear the heaters because the engine's so loud. If you have high, you know where that heater or you can hear it. And then you can listen to it when you turn it to low. I'm going to check my heater pump. The light is working, so I'm going to assume that it's working properly. I'm going to check my driver's dome. This bus, they all come on, so I'm just going to turn them off. And they all work. Ow. I'm going to check my driver's dome. That is on and working. I'm going to activate my master light. I'm going to turn on my warning lights. I'm going to look in my front mirrors and my ambers are working. My right left signal is working. I'm going to activate my heated mirror. I'm going to assume it's working. As the light is on, 
I'm gonna check my driver's hand. Those are on. I'm gonna leave this one on. I'm gonna check my noise suppression. Noise suppression works. Okay. Now I'm gonna jam my brake. My brake. And I'm gonna go to the back of the bus. So as I stand up and I'm facing the back of the bus, I can see all my emergency exit signs are there and labeled properly. I'm gonna check my seat bottoms to make sure they're secure to the frame. And I'm gonna check my emergency exit. Alarm is not sounding. No. Yeah, yeah, when you do that. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Man. So nope. my student ah. light is working, my spec light is working. Yeah, it is. And again, I'm going to start at the top as I walk around. I'm checking the, to make sure that my mirror is secure, my glass isn't broken, and you can feel the hot um, hotness from the heated mirrors. My strap is secure, you can check that when you close it. Jump, jump. I'm listening for hollow, deep and hollow. Deep and hollow sound. Tread should be minimum of 3.2. I'm checking the outside condition of my tire. There's no bulges, no cracks. I'm checking my bow stem cap. I'm checking the outer side of my rim. There's no visible damage, no cracks. I'm checking all my lug nuts, making sure they're secure. My indicator tags are all facing the same direction. My right signal is working. That's a defo. Okay, well, That's a defect. so at this point, if you see a defect, mention it. If you just go, oh, I'm going to check this, and it's not working, see a signal? Mention it's not working. Okay, so I'm going to check my crossover mirror. My lights are working on it because this has lights. We're going to check them. Then, Normally the crossing arm would be working. I'd walk around it and say my cross arm is out and working, but it's not working. We need to report that. I'm going to start at the top. I can't see my antenna, but I'm sure it's there. It's pretty great. My clearance lights are on. My reds are working. The overall condition of my windshield and the front of the bus. My headlights are on. I've already mentioned my right indicator. I'm going to come down and I'm looking for any engine and oil leaks after starting the unit. As I walk up, I'm going to make sure my grill is secure and there's no damage to the bumper. I'm checking my crossover mirror. It's secure. My lights are working. I've already checked this signal earlier. Hollow sound. How deep is the tread? 3.2. Outside condition of the tire. What are we looking for? Bulges. Bulge. Damage. Yeah. And the rim? Walls. Bend. Yeah. Bell stem cap is there and secure. I'm checking all lug nuts. And my indicators are in the same direction. You guys didn't catch that on the other side. That's yeah. right. Mud flap. Mud flap. If you forget Mud flap. it. When you go back around that way, do it before you get in. Don't go now, because you got to walk that way anyways. So I'm checking my mirror to make sure it's secure. It's not broken. I can feel the heat coming from it. This is my battery. I'm going to make sure it's secure and I'm making sure all the connections are there and no corrosion. My stop sign is out and working. And I'm going to stand back. This is going to save you guys time. I'm looking at my clearance lights. They're on. My emergency exit signs are visible and clear. I've got my reflector tape. I've got my rub rails. And I've got my marker light. Then I'm going to go down underneath halfway through all my windows. You guys didn't catch that. Top to bottom. All my windows, there's no broken windows. They're all intact. Then I'm going to come down underneath. I'm looking at my cross members. My frame. My drive shaft. My J hooks. Then I'm going to look at the inside condition of my opposite dual. You're looking for possible bulges. You can see part of the spring. Do so you want to check that? And there's 
there's no leaks on the inside uh, great. opposite tire. Okay. If you can't get your mallet in between while I'm down here, I don't see anything in between the tires. That's right. Because my bus that I have, I cannot get my mallet in there. Okay. I checked my marker lights. Deep hollow sound. I'm checking the tread. What's the tread? Very good. I'm checking the outside condition of the tire. I'm checking my lug nuts, making sure they're secure. And the tags are in the same direction. I'm going to check my hub nuts. I don't think it's necessary, but just do it. They're there. Checking my valve stem caps, making sure they're there and secure. I'm going to check my shocks. I'm looking for any leaks or visible damage. Checking Lock my mud flap. Again, I'm coming around. I got my marker lights. As I come around, check your tailpipe. It's secure. I've had people put their head down to make sure nothing was in there. Please don't do that. You will get carbon monoxide. I've got my license plate light working. I'm equipped with the license plate. I'm going to start it. The clearance light is a little dim, but it is on. I've got my reds working. I've got my right signal working. And my tail lights are working.
use my catalytic converter, but you don't have to mention it. And I'm checking. I'm missing something on this side. No, I did the exhaust. Yeah, this oh. is the Uber. And I can see a little bit more of the springs from this side as well. Because it's, we, are, we are not trained to climb underneath. Okay? What did we miss? Mud flap. Right, so we're just going to give it a little flap. Mud flap is there. Again, three point contact is the You guys can see it. I'm going to shut my indicator off. I'm going to turn on my hazards. I'm going to come out of the bus. I'm going to count. One. Let's go, let's go. It should be uh, along the test. You gotta, you gotta be uh, how long were you just racing? 30 minutes. I'm not done yet though. Mm -hmm. No, no, I mean, uh, we're, oh, we were just talking. You were counting? So, as have some questions I sit in the bus, I'm going to do up my seatbelt. My hazards are already on. I'm going to open my window, I'm going to turn off my noise, and I'm going to check the holding power of my emergency brake. So I'm going to slowly release my foot off the brake, and the holding power is good. I'm going to check the holding power going forward. So I'm going to release slowly, and then I'm going to give it a little gas. What should we bring it to? 12 to 15. So that's not down all the way. Holding power is good. So now I'm going to deactivate my signals. I'm going to check the stopping power of the foot brake. I'm going to release my parking brake. And I'm going to go forward at low speed. Okay, it stops. I'm going to check it a second time. And I'm checking for any play or if it veers to the left or right. My steering. And it's good. Okay, I'm done. How long did it take? Video. Yeah, 25, take the video. 25 and 20. 45. I wasn't 45. How long is the video? 20. It started at 820. Uh, it's 34. How long? 34 minutes. 34. So that was 30. 34. 30, 30 minutes. Like before the pre-treated. Not, not 35. 35. 35. 34. 20 to 30. The video is here. In, uh, oh, yeah. So that's another thing now. They said we can't go over 30 minutes on 35. the test. 35. Is it 35? See, that's different. So basically just get in the groove. I've had a lot of it years of experience. And I can do it quicker yeah, if I didn't have to you. say it. Yeah. Right? Um, but you see how standing there and just 
all the way down, all the way down, that's going to save you time than going, I know there's trainers in Edmonton. They'll make you do one part, another part, another part. That's not necessary. You see everything on the outside, mention it as you're standing there, and then go check underneath. Okay? But that's the point. Like, we don't have to explain it too much. We just have to see, observe and see, like, uh, like in one light. You one will part. have to tell them what you're looking at. Yeah, you have to explain like, like yeah. elaborate like or just like just say that like you know, I'm looking at the leaf spring and there are no cracks yes or, like, that's, 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 that that's be, it right yeah. Yeah. Just stick it to one word yeah. one sentence yeah. yeah okay pretty simple yeah no it's just that so on the training is different yeah. how Everybody did your other it. training go I mean I, the way they explain it to us <laughs> sometimes a little different from one to the other trainer yeah. It's because every trainer is That's different. why we're asking questions. Absolutely. We were taught so. a certain way. And, then you and I know you were taught system. things that you didn't need to know. Right? Uh, from what I've heard. Um, don't do any more than you need to. Because it's no. taking time away. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. This was... Um, standing up. And I, I've seen some trainers where they'd open them up and, and get them to look out the window. You don't need to do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Opens freely. Alarm sounds. See, that's another thing. Yeah. 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 That, that was so good. When you open the window, look make out. sure it is 90 degrees, but make sure uh, to look out or come out, like, and uh, look out for the signals. That's what she's saying. You don't Most have to buses, do that. Yeah. like that's a lot of buses, doing. don't have those side signals. I've been in some that don't. And even so, your, your main ones that are majors are your rear and front. Okay. So your hazards run on the same solenoid. So when you check your hazards and you're yeah. checking those ones on the side, if they're not working, guaranteed your signal's not working. But we have to teach you to check left and right, right and yeah. hazards, okay? You need to know that. Once you get your license, because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I use my hazards to do all my check. I don't do left, right. Because okay. they do run on the same solenoid. But you need to know the process that we're teaching you. It's very, very important that you do it that way. Because I want you guys to pass with 100%. When I took my course and my um, road test back in 2007, the only thing they docked me on was the paperwork. I did not know where they stored it because they didn't show me that. And we used to have these fire tubes. It would be here or up here, and that's where they stored it. I got docked five points. That was for my pre-trip and my road test. Something you don't forget, eh? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but that was actually pretty good. Thing I want to ask you, I am guess I'm pretty sure that for the test we'll be using gas buses, right? Not the diesel ones, right? They're gonna it, when when you go up to Edmonton, you're gonna be going up in one of the Bluebirds. So okay. you're gonna be so, because yeah. we don't have Bluebirds, so they started taking the Bluebird up. Yeah, that's what they told us. You the, start with the Bluebird from day one right to the end. Right. Yeah. 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 Because the diesel is a little bit confusing. Like you know, it's. It's yeah, not confusing, but it's, uh, it's in a separate, like most of the components are in We won't get diesel. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the bus, whether it's diesel or gas. Depends on the make and model. Um, because my door is a bluebird, but everything... So, oh, there's no, do you know uh, what I missed, guys? The, the mirror? No. It doesn't? Oh, I did that when I sat down. The default? I don't know. These ones. Now you get it. You didn't miss it anymore because you just smashed. Exactly. So if you did and you notice it, just go, I'm going to check my defrost. And it's a good idea to put your hand up here because sometimes it's blowing, but the, or you hear it, but it's not blowing. This is a major because if it's not working, it's not going to keep you in the clear. The weather coming up now. So that is actually the only one you need to check is the fan. So that one there on my bus, I drive a Thomas, is over here. So when I go right to left, I check it first. So that's why I do the methodical approach, right to left, up and down. Okay. Same with outside, top to bottom. This way you don't miss anything, okay? 
We went from uh, the Bluebird to the uh, International. I don't like International. Yeah. Switches. I do not like the seats. I, I like nothing about them. And I had to do Chairs my road test as a trainer in one of them. <laughs> I did not like it. But that's why like, we are practicing on the blue part and then suddenly we get the international yep. guitars that we become confused. <laughs> no, I like the bluebirds. <clears throat> I had one for years, a long time ago. <clears throat> and now I like the Thomases because that's what I drive, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Used to it, I guess. Who's going to go first out of my class fives? Uh, I want to use the washroom quick and then uh, no, you, please, not please. allowed. 